Now I want to show you how to work with the hook on this machine. It's kind of hard to do this holding the camera under the table, but this bracket holds the hook in place. It's kind of hard. I might have to move the camera for a second. But I'll pull that down. Pull that. Fold that down. And now I have access to the hook. Well, there's the little hook retainer. And I'll pull the hook out of there. And this is the hook. So this is the hook and integrated bobbin case. I took it out to be able to show you easier uh, how to work with it rather than trying to do it and record holding the phone at the same time. But in order to load a bobbin, you got to pull up on that tab. The bobbin case swivels out. You'll load your bobbin. And when you do this, the bobbin should unwind clockwise. And then you just got to get it into the spring. A little bit more difficult than your average bobbin, but it's doable. There we go. And a big difference with this one is you got to leave quite a bit of thread. I would say like it's almost like two, three inches. Now I'm going to put this back in the machine. Now this machine works best when you have the thread coming out of the bottom, bo the bottom bobbin thread coming out of the hole a couple inches. So I just put the bobbin, uh, the hook back in and put the, with the new bobbin in there. Now what I want to do in order to get that thread up, like I could go back the old fashioned way and pull the handle on the back, but that's kind of cumbersome, is I'll just use the needle up down button on the second screen that I showed you earlier. So now I got the thread in the needle. I'm going to hold on to the to the thread and then I'm going to do needle down and up. All right, and there we go. There's the bottom thread. And this machine works best when this bobbin bottom thread is sticking out, you know, in about an inch or two.